and I didn't learn this till college either. I was always trying to wrestle into the wizard to keep circling back into him, or maybe throwing this leg in, or doing something crazy. The more you wrestle to his butt, the tighter that's going to get. How would I beat it? I got to unwind it. I got to circle back in front, and I need to get my head back to his thigh and my head above the knee. So I'm in here, he's wizarding hard. He's like sitting on my shoulder, there's a lot of pressure. I don't circle into this. All I'm going to do is I'm going to circle, half circle right back in front. My head goes tight. Now I got to get a hand above the knee, right? Doesn't matter which hand. Nope. Reach right front and grab. Now I'm wrestling his hip, not his leg. It's that simple, but we're never taught that. We always want to do the hard thing. So these are me, heavy. I don't circle it. I don't try and limp arm out. My head goes back tight, above the knee. Some people will drop their front knee and switch their back knee to pull it up. For me, it doesn't really matter if I step up with this leg if my pressure's into it. He won't be able to far pick me if my pressure is in it. Now, if my pressure's in my butt and I'm pulling back to come up, yes, he can pick me over the leg. But if my angle's right and I'm driving into him, my weight's, all my weight's on his far knee, he can reach across and reach across the pick. There's no pick because that pressure's into him. Got it? Not circle all the way back to the Circle just enough to replace my head. Your shim is your me. Just enough to get my head back. Grab. Yeah.